So we knew there was a big opportunity there and you know, we met for coffee in Surrey Hills. Yeah. And we're like, you know, let's do this. Um, you know, it's gonna work. I mean, it was literally 36 hours after we met, I jumped on a flight to Shanghai and the Shanghai Optical Fair was on. That first lot of frames, it was probably about 40 frames in total volume. It was about six styles or ten styles, three three or four deep in each three. one. Shallow buy, I think. Yeah, kids call shallow buy, you call yeah. it. We were not great at merch planning at that stage. So we launched the website, which was very basic, probably not that functional, and no one bought anything. <laughs> yeah. So then it was back to, okay, our bold idea of we just magically get all these sales isn't going to work, what are we going to do? And that's when, you know, the Bondi Markets was just down the road from both of us, so we booked a table there. Um, and our first Saturday morning was probably two weeks after that. You know, despite the fact we were just, you know, selling at the, like, at the Bondi Markets with a tablecloth with 21 frames, we were getting enough traction with people, like they were interested in it, it was generating excitement. You know, people like, this makes sense. You know, there is something here, so we were working out of that office in Edgecliff and people were just coming in because they wanted to try it on and touch it. Nobody was buying through the website. Yeah. So after a few months of doing this, that gave us confidence by sort of August, was it August, September? August, yeah. To open a pop-up on William Street. We worked like, because people were just walking past and didn't know what we were doing. So we used to just put a table outside on the street and, you know, had glasses on it that used to draw additional people in. About a week after we had to sign the lease and open the store in uh, William Street. Um, it was the William Street Festival and we didn't really know what to expect. We just had an amazing day. Yeah. Uh, I think we sold about 70 pairs of glasses that day. So we've That's been... Grand, yeah. Yeah, so amazing day um, where that really changed the game for us from you know, having bought a, what at the time was a lot of stock and not knowing whether it was really going to get traction to this really does make sense, a lot of people are interested. We gave away a heap of business cards and actually made a lot of sales. From starting the business, we had a good mix of backgrounds between engineering, um, consulting, a bit of legal background, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I would say what's much more important than any of that is how we play off each other personally. So I think one thing that, or the, probably the thing that made the company early on uh, more than anything else was um, you and I were very passionate about things, but the next step was the, the group of people that came in around us were just as passionate. This is a business we're dealing with really important stuff. You know, people's sight, you know, retail, you can touch it and feel it. You know, if you get the product wrong, you can see why. We're dealing with real people, you know, we can shape a culture that can be a positive force. I think in terms of how the culture develops, one thing that really sort of stays with me is when we went through the branding work to really set up what is Bailey Nelson and how we're going to articulate that. And a theme that constantly came up was uh, about being yourself at work and being able to be yourself in everything you do. You know, what we kind of crave is connection and fitting in and belonging and that, you know, business, you know, can be that. And that you shouldn't hide behind a mask, you shouldn't um, wear a long t-shirt because you've got some tattoos that you really care about. Uh, you shouldn't have a scripted way of greeting people or talking to them about stuff. You should actually just be yourself and if you can be yourself then that's, that's how you'll be happy, that's how you'll come across to other people. Uh, and so that, that sense of being yourself and an individual and self-expression has been a really critical thing and something that's really driven a lot of what we've done uh, over the last five years. When people join Bailey Nelson, you know, I would like them to think that, um, you know, it's a place they can bring their family and friends and feel proud of the product we offer. Yeah, I think the thing I and I would say we are most proud of is the uh, incredible group of people we've got now across four countries, um, a range of skills, uh, they're all passionate, just an amazing group of people we're very lucky to work with every day the reason you get up each morning and keep striving towards it.